clever people, and welcome to my review for Judy. So Judy is a movie depicting the life of Judy Garland, who was a huge actress of her time, most famously known for playing Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz, and it follows her as she is in the middle of her life, as she is having a hard time getting jobs, she's having a hard time getting attached to projects, and because of it, she is very low in money. And in order to try to make up for it, she goes on a tour in London, and in doing so, she kind of reflects on her whole life and what everything has meant. So Judy is a movie I was looking forward to mostly because everybody was talking a lot about the main performance in it. The people were saying the movie itself was just alright, but the main performance by Renee Zellweger, who plays older Julie Garland, is absolutely phenomenal. So I was looking forward to seeing it just to see how an incredible performance can lead a movie after just seeing it this weekend as well with Joker. Um, and I ended up actually liking this movie more than I expected. I will say that this movie is quite cheesy and anybody who has a problem with cheesy movies might have a problem with the way that this movie ends or the way that this movie goes along, but overall I really enjoyed the way that it looked at Judy Garland's life because I didn't know much about her outside of the fact that she was the lead in Wizard of Oz. She was Dorothy and she'll be remembered for the rest of time for that performance. And if you don't know much about her outside of her portrayal as Dorothy, I highly encourage you to go see this movie because even if you don't like it from a filmmaking perspective, you realize there's a lot going on in her life outside of her playing Dorothy that was really, really sad. And overall, this movie is incredibly sad in the way that it depicts the life of a woman who is suffering extremely. She, I mean, the way that Renelle Zell, the Renee Zellweger was able to depict a woman who is struggling so much internally, but externally still tries to keep it up, but has a hard time. It was just such a great balance that you don't see in many actors. Now, I do want to talk about the beginning of this movie, the very first scene, actually, because it did something really smart that I feel like isn't going to get mentioned enough. The first scene of the movie has a line of dialogue that felt very confusing to me because there was this young girl and she said, I just want to be able to go to the movies like other girls um, when being offered the role as Dorothy. And you're thinking to yourself, this is a young actress who has nothing going on in her life. Why would she not want to take this big role and go and see movies and go to get hot dogs like other girls? But as that simple first line that left a big impression on me helped me get invested and as the film goes along you realize more and more what that line line really means in the context of the story and the fact of the matter is is that julie garden had an incredibly difficult upbringing because of the way she was treated in hollywood by superior people and it's really kind of haunting and really honestly depressing the way that her life turned out the way that it did but the movie is not focused, well the movie I'd say is focused on showing that depressing side, but the performance isn't, and it really has so many layers to it. I cannot say enough how good Renee's performance is. The problem with this movie is that it has a structure that's very much like a lot of movies targeted towards older people, where it's really good in the moment, and in the moment you have a strong attachment to it. And while there are some hugely cheesy moments in this movie, which was kind of a bit of a problem, but if you can get past cheese, you'll be okay with it. The fact that this movie, even though it had all that great emotion and despite the cheese, it still ended up being pretty forgettable. And honestly, I don't think that this movie is anywhere close to as good as it could have been, mostly be, due to the fact that it is forgettable, that there's not many sequences in this movie to remember. The ideas expressed have been expressed a million other ways, and while it's cool seeing it in the context of Julie Garland, the ideas of Hollywood being corrupt and being a corrupt business, that's something you've seen many times over and over again, so it's really nothing special. So in the end, Judy is a good movie. It's decent, led by a phenomenal performance that will be nominated at the Oscars, or at least I hope so, because it's very much deserving. If you don't know much about Judy Garland, definitely go out and check out this movie. And even if you do, I'm sure you'll still find out some things about her life. However, in terms of being an actual movie, not a movie that highlights a performance and highlights an actor's life, it's pretty cliched and it's pretty forgettable. I will give Judy a 7 out of 10. All right, that concludes my review for Judy. So, what are your thoughts on this film, or what do you think of The Wizard of Oz? Comment in the comment section below and let me know. I'm Robert Burke, and this has been The Clever Critics. Goodbye.